Yo, what's good, what's good? Troublemaker here. Mm, Insanity Family 13. Um, yeah, yo, guys, alright, so check this say out, right? I'm just here to talk a little bit about American Horror Story Season 5 has now come to an end. It's kind of sad. Uh, I was obsessed. I love that show. I'm one of those people, oh, yeah, I know I have a PVR, but I still want to go home and, and watch it so I can tweet during the commercials. Get at me on Twitter at Thornhill Ninja. Alright, though, check this out, though. Um, a lot of, uh, there, there's a few questions still unheard of, right? You know, so, like, if Queenie went up, you know, and then she died in this hotel, like, she should actually be a ghost in the hotel, right? That's my personal opinion. So, like, why hasn't she shown up in the season finale? Now, on top of that, um, guys, answer this for me, okay? The retailer that came in and sold the house, uh, sorry, sold, like, you know, sold the hotel, originally sold the murder house, wasn't she a tour guide in season three in Coven? Like, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure she was. I'm kind of confused, you know? Um, now, on top of that, what uh, what happened to that crazy like uh, demon thing that was um, that showed up in the first couple of episodes I believe um, that would basically just uh, like rape its guests you know and then have the uh, I, honestly the names are slipping so I do apologize but have the other lady there you know that would that in one of the episodes had the crackled up teeth and she's smoking the cigarette and she's like touching the guy and she's like tell me you love me you know what i mean like when i saw that dude i i figured hey yo that's like um that suit represents the rubber suit back in season one you know um so that's that's what got me thinking there on top of that i honestly think because you know queenie has now passed um, the coven's gonna actually show up at the, uh, at the hotel, like, that, that's my opinion, like, I don't know what season six is gonna bring, I was reading online that there was gonna be, like, um, season six and seven was actually gonna be, like, a spring edition and a fall edition, something that American Horror Story's never done yet, so, I don't know if that's, that's probably not popping off this year, but next, maybe. Also, also, I think season six and season seven, or season six split into two, if it does happen, is, it might not be connected to the first five seasons because, you know, as far as everyone was told, hey, you know, the first five seasons intertwine and connect. I'm not entirely sure how that all fits in, though. You know, so we're going to have to definitely find that one out. How you doing? How you doing, baby girl? How you doing? Um, okay, so now, what we have here is, um, oh, yes, sorry, now what we have here with, uh, you know, we have some similarities still, you know, we got, like, the, um, when the Ten Commandments killer makes his murders and leaves, and leaves, like, these, like, jars of, of his work. You know, that kind of brings you back a little bit. It's a freak show when you had the museum and you had all the, uh, you know, like the, the museum of all like the murders and, and stuff like that. So like there's always that aspect and there's always the common aspects that keep circle around the Internet. You know, there's like what else is there, man? Um, yeah, uh, Pepper. You know, how she intertwined two episodes and um, in between Freak Show and, and Asylum. And um, and then you got the crazy-ass doctor. Well, you have two doctors, actually. You know, um, you got the, the one that was in Asylum and Freak Show. And then you got the one uh, that was in Murder House. And then did a flashback from Hotel over to Murder House. I'm kind of thinking, it personally, me, I'm kind of thinking that, you know... Murder House has a strong connection with the hotel because the whole premise of you die in the murder house, you stay there, you die in the hotel, you stay there, you know, so that's, you know, that's a level, that's an understanding there. 
Um, I still don't know how a lot of this is connected. My theory in my head was, hey, it might have been double gangers or, or, or like family members, like twin family members lookalikes, you know, um, going down the timeline. But then we also come to think about it and what about those aliens? There's almost no word about the aliens or no mentions, but we'd have to go back and watch to really pay a closer attention in Asylum. You know, the alien stuff. So that's, uh, that's a twist right there too. Um, I would love to see how this all pieces together, guys. You know, like, th that's pretty much what I can figure out. Um, also, the maid, the maid in freaking hotel can remind you a lot about the maid in the murder house. Take that in, too. So, at the end of the day, I don't know how it all connects. I wish I did. But, um, that's why I'm breaking this video. I'm talking to you guys. So tell me, man, like, what else have you, what other connections have you found? I'm pretty sure I might have found others, but I'm not sure yet. Also, I want to point out that, uh, I'm not quite sure how um, American Horror Story got the song Hotline Bling to be in their show when uh, I'm pretty sh like in my opinion, I'm pretty sure that song came out a little after the season started, so, and which would tell me that, um, in my opinion, you know, the season should have been pre-filmed, so that song, they, I don't think they would have realized or figured out about that song, so I want to know about that, you know, um... Let's see. Oh, also, you know, um, the the Angel of Death. Um, I was reading somewhere online. The Angel of Death might have a connection from Asylum over to uh, over to Hotel as well. Um, as the Lady in Black, or yeah, the Lady in Black. You know, so it's an you know, like, there's a lot of similarities and interests. I can't wait to see how it all, you know, breaks down. Um, here's to me, I'm kind of hoping that it's not about, they all connect through the circles of hell. I'm hoping that's not it. Um, I'm hoping that there's an actual, you know, like, oh, this happened, this, 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 and this, and this is why this all happened. You know, like, I'm hoping it's something like that, you know, something kind of like, legitimately connecting all the characters and stuff um coven was a badass season i didn't talk much about it all i really mentioned was uh was more or less about the re the you know the retailer or realtor sorry if i'm saying the name wrong the professional name wrong but yeah guys i'm just i'm slightly confused you know i just want to know what's popping with the like what do you guys think about the the whole circulation of how American Horror Story came to be connected for the first five seasons. You know, so let's talk about it. Give me your thoughts. All right, thank you guys. I'm out. Peace.